Alrighty guys, welcome back to Let's Play EverQuest. I wanted to do a special video today on an old favorite of mine, that is Plane of Hate. Now, being that getting into Plane of Hate can be pretty challenging without a wizard, a very large group of appropriate level players and everything else, I'm going to be doing this video on my Rogue. Um, I did have some P99 characters that were actually able to get into Hate and do the raid, but the timing of it was just completely, like, just, I couldn't do it. Um, the raid scene there is a little different, so getting in to do an actual uh, hate raid was a little challenging on the, on the characters I have. But right here, th this is going to be the actual zone in. And as you can see, this zone is very large <laughs> for being an actual planar zone. Um, it's not a, just a regular square, pretty much, like the planar fear is. It's got little things you can do here. So let's go ahead. Oh, look at that right off the bat. Bone drink. As you can see in here, you're going to have a lot of these uh, vampire-looking guys, a lot of undead, of course the chests, but also um, the planar zones, like Plane of Hate, Plane of Fear, they drop class-specific armor for certain classes. Like, for example, the, uh, obviously, cleric stuff drops here, rogue stuff drops here, but uh, wizard stuff, for example, would not drop here at all, um, as far as their, their items. It only drops in Plane of Fear. So we're just going to run around here for a second. So you've got the mummies. I'm trying to find my favorite thing in this zone. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because it, it looks just awesome. Let me see where it is, though. We've got a couple more vampires. Of course, the lich. <clears throat> I think I see a dragon in this room. Let's test that theory. Yes! Ash and Bone Drake right there. Um, obviously he looks very cool, but not what I'm talking about. Um, obviously the rats, the ghouls. Another Drake. The place looks fairly spawned. We may actually get to show you some names, which I'm kind of excited about. So now we've made it to the main staircase. So let's see here. Is that really the hand of Maestro? Wow, it is. I'm curious if Maestro is up. Dang it. No, he's not. He spawns right here, guys. Um, you got a couple of banshees in here. I'll tell you what, I'll just start killing some stuff, actually. Why can I not target this thing? This may be bugged. I can't target anything in here. Interesting. These guys are obviously awesome. The Knight of Hate. It may not mean a whole lot, but my guys actually haven't hit these. <laughs> Got a lot of HP. Yeah, we'll go ahead and see if we can't kill a few of these. I'd like to show you some of the class specific armor that drops. He's not that big, by the way, guys, so don't, don't think that's actually his hand. He, he's not even close. Well, I guess I could probably use this to multi-quest something. Maybe. But as you can see right here on the map, we are on the actual main aisle here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go around and down. And we're going to want to get to where we can see if Inner Rook is up. Because that would be absolutely amazing if Inner Rook was up. He's not that difficult to beat anymore, <laughs> obviously. So when it comes down to actually camping him... Ooh, the Corrupter of Life is up, though. And a Hate Bone instead of Ashen Bone. Let's see. 
a fleshless skull. <sighs> Revenant. We're trying to find the ones that are the coolest looking to me in this in this zone. Oh, there we go. The warlock. They don't always call it warlock, but the new the new uh graphics on the actual dark elf. I think that their mages or their casters look amazing. Then again, I've always been kind of partial to dark elf. We are getting there. We just run around the corner here. Oh no. Then we'll go up this little staircase. Warlord of Hate. Assassin of Hate. Wani Babies of Hate. I'd like to see if you guys can actually see some of that class only armor that drops. That'd be amazing. I'm not seeing any of it yet, but... Oh, guys, Inarook is not up either. What a shame. He spawns right here. And, I, of course, you guys know what Inarook looks like from my Plane of Time video. But, uh, yeah, he, is, he doesn't look like he is up. At least not right now. Um, yeah, whenever, whenever people can like easily just run their characters through these places and kill them, a lot of times it's not the fact that they need anything from these people. It's just the simple fact that uh, it's fun, it's something to do. Maybe they didn't get a chance to do it on their characters. Oh, I need to turn attack on it. Um, they didn't get a chance to do it on their characters. They, they, they've always wanted to. You know, there's probably a million reasons why they should they do it. Uh, it, it does kind of put a damper on the fact that if you are trying to use your get those characters or, or those mobs for like a let's say epic 1.0 or something like that it does get in the way of that you know, rather bad the good news is if it's that easy to get then you just log your character in and go get it whenever it's up you know you don't have to, you don't have to whine you just go get it <laughs> so let's see here anything drop dude Nothing. Etched Soldier's Crest. What devil? Um, back in the day, it was considered to be the best gear in the game on the, when the first the game actually first came out. So, uh, granted, it didn't just drop all the time galore. But I got several pieces. But then again, like I said, we, we were doing the entire zone whenever we were whenever we were raiding it. So. All right, so let's see here. A couple of names spawning. Nothing in here. But these guys, I think they look, look just look awesome. And they're called Sorcerers of Hate. Like that's. I don't know. To me, that's just savage. I mean, I, I'm, I am just sweating this, not being able to get, like, show you guys some gear, but we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll get some. If need be, I'll just go buck wild here in a second and just pull everything. And then, uh, we'll kind of move from there. I'm sure I'll get some names in the mix and all kinds of stuff, so... I'm kind of running around aimlessly right now. It would not be a good idea to do that in this zone if you're not familiar or have a character that's high enough to do that. There's nothing here that's going to kill me. Um, but just be, be like, do keep in mind if if you get another character down here, like I'd probably say in the 70s even. Uh, these things uh, they they hit pretty hard for what they are. There's a lot of them, <laughs> and a lot of them root and everything else and use spells. So just. Try to be careful if you can. Um, I, I don't want anybody to have to die in hate. It's a pretty, pretty shitty place to die. Nice. I know for a fact that the chests—they, 
Yeah, Crown of Hatred. Not a bad headpiece, actually. What does it look like? Nothing. But not a bad headpiece for back in the day, for sure. You see, these are actually hitting me for three, four hundred apiece. So, again, if you if you weren't an established character and you just come down here thinking that you know you can run around and pull the zone, you may not be able to actually successfully do that. Just keep that in mind. Oh man, these gargoyles are also awesome. really really cool. Heretic of Hate. We're not getting a whole lot of names. Um, it's kind of disappointing me a little bit. Obviously, with everything being popped, see the Master of Spite? He's over here. I actually remember fighting him. He's in this one right here. I do know that uh, when I used to be in my raiding guild on, on the progressions of P99, uh, <laughs> our tank, like literally, I don't know if he studied maps or what the hell, but he knew this zone with his eyes closed. He could literally walk through the zone, know where everything was, know where every single name was. Where you know that it was insane. I, I give the guy mad props because uh, I don't find this zone to be easily navigated, um, so the fact that he could do it that easily was, uh, in my opinion, pretty, pretty damn impressive. We're getting a few mobs on us here. Uh, it'll really let us get the opportunity to, to show you guys some of that armor. I can't see it not getting at least one piece off of all of this. Definitely not finding many names, though, which is, uh, Making me kind of a sad panda over here. Let's see. I'm also going to do one, one of these videos for fear, uh, only simply because, like, I would like for you guys to be able to see fear. And fear it has a cool uh, necklace that drops with the amulet of necropotence, and actually transform you into a skeleton, which is actually a really cool little uh, effect. Uh, one of the main things on my rogue I really enjoy doing is my illusions. I have them up right here, as you can see. This guy's Goblin Troll, Shisar. Yeah, there's quite a few here now, so... Now, the great thing about rogues, in my opinion, is if I just pull these guys towards me, my backstab will... I do it on Reposti, so I don't have to even press attack on most of the time, and these guys will end up dying. Really I cannot even believe this. We haven't got a piece of armor yet. Wow. If I remember correctly, certain things drop certain armors, like the clerics of hate dropped the uh, armor for the cleric. And I think that it was the uh, gargoyles that dropped the stuff for a road. And of course, these, these revenants would drop. You know, I'm pretty sure that's how it was, but dude, I don't want. I don't want to lie. And I just simply do not remember. It's been a long time since I've been actually raiding in the plane of hate. Come on. Boom, okay. Fine Insidious Pantaloons. As you can see, for, from the stuff that we've been seeing dropping in some of the other zones, not that impressive. But Enchanter only has a very unique look to it. Um, I, I know that the Rogue stuff was all black. The Paladin stuff looked very, very cool. Uh, and it kind of gives a special feel to the fact that it is class specific for you. Let's see here. Let's see if I can... But I think that the rarity kind of speaks for itself, obviously. You've, you've, oh, here we go. Perfect. 
warrior. Okay, so in in in, in discipline. Is it not gonna show me at all? Like, oh, you know what? I may have my helmets turned off. Yeah, I had my helmet turned off. Because I'm an idiot. Okay. Okay, look. Oh my god, look at that. That's just awesome, you know what I mean? If I was a warrior and had full plate on with that, yeah, that would be pretty savage. So that, I think that's really cool. It's probably not going to be black. I think it just shows black on mine because mine is black. But, uh... Very, very cool little, uh, little, you know, class-only gear you can get. Um, you can get a million times better stuff now. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily take your characters here to get this stuff. But, uh, I know that back on, on P99, it's like that, when I, whenever I had the, a few pieces of that armor on my Rogue, I, it, was, it was best in slot, you know, besides the in-game raiding stuff, so, I really enjoy having it. But guys, that's pretty much going to be kind of the, 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 the gist of everything. I know that they did have a pulling spot that they would pull to, uh, specifically, j just to kind of keep the, the group safe. But there really isn't a safe spot for the plane of hate. <laughs> uh, even even the spot that we were pulling to that we were supposedly safe had a ton of you know ads that would walk by and everything else during it. So I'm not 100 percent sure that you can have a, a spot in here. Dude, that target resisted my burst. Wow, pretty savage. <laughs> I think it was these guys, because I remember being really excited to see them come back to the, to, to the, the pool area. And drop some of that rogue gears. Okay. A worthless here as well. She's out of nowhere. It started dropping runes for days. Look at all this stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I don't recommend coming here to twink a character um, at all, obviously. But what I do recommend is doing it at least once. Just going through here, um, dude. If you get a chance to do it on, on a real on a real raid with other players and just have fun and go through this place, that would be phenomenal. If not, hop on one of your high level characters and run through this stuff. It's a lot of fun to do. Obviously, especially whenever you're you know killing stuff with two hits or whatever else it is. But um, it's just a lot of fun to kind of run through and see the old school first time, you know, raid zones. I think that they're awesome. And of course, if you got the maps, you can kind of uh, get on here and see Lord of Ire is going to be up in here. So let, let's go ahead and see if he's even up. I really, really doubt it. I've actually never seen the Lord of Ire up. Which I guess doesn't mean that he won't be. I guess I'd have to know how to get to him, too, huh? I guess that would help. Yeah, he's not up. But, uh... Yeah, I just I kind of recommend just coming here, you know? I mean, giving it a shot, running through, killing everything, you know, have, having a blast. Because it's just... That's what we play this game for, you know? It's just the, 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 the nostalgia and everything else of actually being able to play. And, in my opinion, the greatest MMO that they've ever made. So running through the old school raid zones like that is just really, really satisfying. <laughs> A thought destroyer. Anyways, guys, I run a little dry of uh, stuff here, and I really wish there was some more stuff up. I hate bone again. We'll go ahead and do that one. If 
if I run through here one day and I do see some stuff up, I will definitely do a follow up um, on the on the actual vid, just to show you guys. Just I would like for you to see Inner Rook and and Miestro and that kind of stuff, because they really are awesome. And again, I'll, I'll try to do the same thing with my Planar Fear video. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can't uh, find some mobs that are up. But I tell you what, guys, thank you so much for watching. Obviously, it's been a pleasure doing these videos. If you guys want to see something specifically, let's say a, a raid or anything like that, I can probably end up talking to my bro into do, doing even some of the stuff that my bro can't handle by himself. So if you guys want to see something, let me know in the comments below. Um, we're, we're, we'll do whatever we can to get that content out there for you. So, But uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next Let's Play EverQuest.